Hello, before going into the design tips of inverter, let us try to understand the basic function of an inverter that is DC to AC. Oh, we have a transformer here which has a ratio of 1 is to 25. That means from this winding to this winding, if we apply 10 volts, so we will get 250 volts. We get we give 1 volt, we get 25 volts. We give 10 volts, we will get 250 volts. And uh, so this is a center tapped transformer. In fact, uh, the more details will be discussed uh, subsequently. Uh, these are called bifilar winding uh, as far as the transformer winding is concerned. And uh, to which we have connected two MOSFETs and uh, one MOSFET for this half of the winding, other MOSFET for this half of the winding. And the power or the DC is given here. The positive is given here, negative is given here. And the drive is given to the gate from here. Let's see how it works. Now, uh, this is the uh, positive half cycle of the trigger and this is the negative half cycle. When it is positive, mind it, this time is very small. This is you now for a 50 hertz, this is only 10 milliseconds. This also is 10 milliseconds. The total is 20 milliseconds and 20 milliseconds is 50 hertz. So for 10 milliseconds, this is on and that time this is off. This is in the zero. So this is off. So when this is given on 10 milliseconds on time, this conducts, once this conducts, the power flows, the, the current flows from here through this winding and through the, it cannot go through this diode here, it goes through the MOSFET and then back to the negative. And this is how the half cycle operates in this way. The other half cycle is similar. When this becomes positive, that means the gate is positive with respect to source. This is called source and, and this is a gate. And of course, this is called drain and uh, this is the source. So when this becomes positive, so the again, the current flows from this direction and then passes through and then this way. Actually, how it converted to AC is while this current is flowing in this direction, in the polarity wise, in the secondary side of this transformer, the current flows in this direction. And the amplitude is not this what is shown here. The amplitude will be in fact 25 times bigger than the whatever voltage we apply here. So, if you get for this, you get this way current flowing and for this, you get the other way current flowing and that is how we get AC of whatever signal that we are giving, we get AC. And this is what the basic fundamental principle of operating an inverter that is DC to AC inverter. We will next follow the other parts until then, okay.